After completing the activity identification and location specification, we move on to the map composition stage. Under map composition, we need to click all created activity that has GAW and non-GAW activities we have drawn. In this stage, we'll configure the map to display the specific layers and information we want to include in our final output. Here, we need to select the layers that we want to be displayed on our map. This allows us to customize the map and highlight the relevant information. For example, we'll select the satellite image to provide a visual backdrop. We also need the settlements layer to show the locations of villages and habitations. Then, we will select the activities we have drawn. Before generating the final map, it's crucial to ensure that the boundary layer is clearly visible. This helps to define the geographical area of our plan. We can generate the map output by clicking on the Download PDF option. The PDF map will display the selected layers, including the activity locations, identified by numbers or symbols, and other relevant geographical features. This completes the map composition stage.